Welcome to Tarantulas with Shanti. I'm just sitting outside enjoying this nice fall day and I thought I would share a couple tidbits about my life with you and the video that I just shot of my Grandma Stola Pulchra snot gurgle. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for continuing to support my channel. You know, snot gurgle, my Grandma Stola Pulchra, she is quite a character. I decided to bring her out and let her crawl out onto the table and onto my hand. And that's the video you're about to see. Now, I don't um, advocate handling as something that you should do with your tarantula, you know, on a regular basis or that you should, um, you know, do carelessly. What I mean by that is like, you want to make sure that you are close to the ground when you're handling them. You want to make sure that your tarantula is in the right mood for handling. And you want to make sure that you're handling a tarantula that is okay, you know, that is okay being handled that isn't going to bite you or flick hairs preferably because those can get in your eyes and cause a lot of damage and they can just be irritating and itchy. Um, also, even if it's a new world tarantula and the venom is not as potent as an old world tarantula, you can still receive mechanical damage from the puncture, from the fangs, you know, puncturing your flesh, going through the tissue, going through the muscle, uh, severing maybe um, some tendons or, you know, things like this. So that can happen um, and just something to be aware of that when I, when I handled Snot Gurgle, I really tested to see that she was in an okay mood for this, there was no kicking, there was no threat pose, and uh, I was taking that risk on myself. And I did it in an environment where it was safe for her. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check her out. Hey Gurgle. There you go. Here's my Gurg. What a pretty girl. Where are you? What is that, a potato chip? You're okay. You're okay, yeah. You're just curious. What's going on out here? Where are you? Wondering where you are? Very cautious. Very cautious girl. That's my gurg. You're a good gurgle. Pretty girl. And with her foot raised like that, in this case, it's not a defensive posture. It's just that she's on the edge of something, so she's reaching out. Trying to feel what's over the edge. If there's anything else to hold on to. Hey, pretty girl. You're a good girl. This is a very cautious individual. She doesn't even eat her food unless she's sure that it's her food. Doesn't mean that she isn't capable of biting, because she is, but as you can see, there was no hair kicking, and she feels around at everything, and that's how she is when she eats before she bites. She feels what it is that I'm handing her. That's why I trust her. That's why I have taken her out and decided to hold her. It's 
my sweet, sweet girl. So she's feeling, where's the ground? As you can see, she would prefer not to walk on my hand. But she seems to be getting a little bit used to it. See if she'll just go back into her jar. We gotta go back in here because we gotta go home now. We go in. She probably doesn't want to go in there either. And I'm not sure that I should try this with one hand, so. Come on, girl. You're the sweetest. And there you have it. Gurgle on a walkabout. Yep. She left a little present. <laughs>